I um, help to run a research group here called Socio Digital Systems, and we are a multidisciplinary group. So we have um, uh, computer scientists in the group, but we also have designers and social scientists. And um, so my background is in um, psychology and human factors engineering, so I'm not a kind of conventional computer scientist. I think the best thing about the job is that you um, it's a job in which it's a good thing to be curious about things and if you have a lot of curiosity um, about the things that you study um, you have the freedom to do that and um, you have the freedom to pursue the things that you are most interested in. So, so I started off in psychology and um, I, did, I was always interested in mathematics and engineering as well. I was sort of interested in how we model human behavior um, mathematically and um, because of that when I did my PhD I started looking at issues to do with how you understand human behavior and the relationship of people to technolo technology. After doing my PhD, I spent a bit of time at Apple Computer and then I um, moved on to um, work at another um, industrial research lab uh, with Xerox. And after that, I went to Hewlett Packard. And after that, um, I went to Microsoft. So I've, I've gone to um, now a number of different um, big IT companies, always working in, in research. I think it's a try and work somewhere where you have a lot of fun. Um, because you spend a lot of your time in, in, in your working life and you should enjoy what you do. When I, uh, my, for my first book, that was a, a proud moment. Um, I think I'm always proud when I see one of the PhD students that I've helped to supervise or somebody that I've helped to mentor you know, get a great job or get great recognition. So all of those things, and I guess whenever we write a paper that um, we feel is, is um, pushing the boundaries of the field. There were lots of things that I thought I wanted to do, but the problem was that um, in high school, for example, I liked doing fine art, I liked maths, I liked English, I liked sciences. And so I couldn't narrow any of it down. So um, I worried that I wouldn't be able to find a job that, or a career for myself where all of those things um, could come into play. And I think what's interesting about computer science, and I wouldn't have thought this way back then, is there, is, there can be a huge creative element in that. So don't rule it out because you just think it's full of geeks. There's so much more going on. I mean, com computers are everywhere in every aspect of our lives. So you have a chance to actually make a, a difference to, uh, to people's lives. And um, don't rule it out because you think that, you know, you're not good with numbers or not good at programming or it's, it's, yeah, it's too geeky. Don't rule it out for that because you'd be really um, ignoring all of the other really interesting stuff that goes on in computer science.